I'm Bob Gripp. Renee Diles has been taking a closer look at this pot of tax dollars to see how it's being spent and why the city council feels it needs more. Renee? Well, Bob and Lenise, our investigative team has been pouring through the proposed budget for the past few weeks. And one of the items that stands out is the discretionary fund, as it's called. Now, that could see a 60% jump next year. Discretionary money was cut from the budget in 2009 because of the poor economy. Well, last year it returned, and now some council members say they need more. Mobile's city council members each received $25,000 in discretionary money in last year's budget. This time around, that piece of the budget pie could jump to $40,000. Discretionary money can be used for anything in your district. We'll be holding that meeting right here in this auditorium. Council President Gina Gregory says the council members may differ on how they choose to spend that money. Entrance ways speed bumps, traffic lights, uh, fixing a small section of sidewalk, even I have an ice maker at a concession stand at one of my parks that doesn't work. LaVon Manzi's biggest commitment this year is $4,000 to the Mobile County Training School Alumni Association. Bess Rich is pooling her money for renovations at major intersections in District 6, including this one at Airport and Hillcrest. I've allocated money towards capital only. It's funds that's placed there for our discretion. It's our call. Most of Fred Richardson's discretionary expenses went to travel, a total of five trips in the U.S. and abroad. He says the travel pays off for the city. We went back to the air shows and we got Airbus. It's not before final assembly lines in the world. One of them is in City Mobile. The proposed budget includes an increase in discretionary money in part because the council members will have to start paying their postage and other mailing expenses. The amount we had line item for that last year, which was just over $53,000, was not enough. We also found that some council members used it more than others. So this year we decided to put all of the printing and reproduction, that means the postcards, the letters, anything we send out in the mail, we decided to put that or charge that to our discretionary funds. Therefore, we increased our discretionary funds this year to $40,000. It is a very expensive process to write to everybody four times a year. It's, it is thousands of dollars. Again, it, to me, it's a tool to make sure that everyone knows who their representative is. It's very important to me. In the last year, we had about 25000 and I believe that's enough. Councilmember John Williams is against the increase, and he thinks the spending guidelines should be narrowed. I think that it ought to be solely capital, and I think it ought to be about 20 or 25,000, no more. A proposed extended sidewalk project here at Skyland Park received $5,000 from Williams' discretionary money. Another $5,000 goes to the Southern Corridor Beautification Project to help spruce up this intersection at Government Boulevard and Azalea Road. Our group had designed this. Makeda Nichols says the project couldn't happen without help from the city council member. We have not been able to plant the flowers. We really needed the money because we're a group that's just start, starting out and we just got our 501 um, accreditation and so we want to start uh, doing some fundraising but John has that money is really helping us to get started. Williams, who allocated all of his discretionary money to projects and organizations in District 4, says travel is also important for council members, but he says those who do take trips should be accountable. We should require those that travel to provide a detailed trip report on what the expectation was and what was accomplished during that time away from home. Richardson has an answer for critics who think he should leave the travel to other city leaders, like the mayor. Fred Richardson is as important in this city as any other elected official, be it the mayor or any other council member. Nobody is more important than Fred Richardson. As you can tell the world that, and I'll approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> and interestingly, now, the council members who say they need more money next year had not spent all of their discretionary money as of July 22nd. That's the date that we mm -hmm. received the balance sheets. And at that time, five council members had balances ranging from ten to $18,000 remaining. So what happens to the money that's left over? Well, any discretionary money that is not 
spent by the end of the fiscal year, it goes back into the general fund budget. But that's not likely to happen because the council members still have four weeks to spend that money, and they could also roll it into a special capital account for their district. And I talked to the finance director, and he says that if the council members decide to take that route, then they would have to vote on it in an open meeting. And, you know, the mayor also receives uh, discretionary money, mm -hmm. but he is not requesting an increase. And by law, the council will have to approve that new budget before the new fiscal year, which starts on October 1st. You're right, that is mm. Alabama law. Has That's to have it. a balanced budget. All right, thanks for that.